All right, now we have our pistons all rigged up. What you want to do is you want to open your layers again. And let's, uh, I'm going to hide the pistons and the dummies. And let's look at our points. Now, when I added these points in here, um, also, I showed you a little bit ago, but we can just go over it again very quickly. Not much to it. A point is just a... Um, what layer are we on here? Notice whatever layer you're che is checked here in the box is what layer, whatever you create, will go on. Um, so we can go into points here. I'm going to check that because I'm going to do this. Just click that and um, you know, you can adjust the size, what you want it to look like. You can have all of these pieces going. You can click this, so like uh, right now, if we zoom out, it shrinks. Or if you click on constant screen size, as you zoom out, it will stay, or yeah, it will stay the same size. And uh, the axis tripod is good when you're trying to. Um, it's it's good for character rigging because it shows a specific direction that something might be aimed at. If you find these things are a little hard to grab, sometimes they can be. Um, I I don't know. Well, so they are for me sometimes. Maybe I'm just retarded. But um, you can always put a box in there. Whatever. So that's what a point is. <coughs> Excuse me. And again, you can adjust the size, whatever you want. I'm just going to delete this. What I did earlier before I even started making the tutorials was um, I went in and I found the pivot point for each one of these pieces and I lined a point directly to it just using the axis tripods and I made sure it's exactly in the middle of where we want it to rotate. It exactly splits the geometry where we want it to. Um, when I was thinking about putting this tutorial together, I wasn't sure if I was going to add these or I was going to have you guys do this. And of course, I just figured um, it'll cut down on questions later if I just put them in for you. Which is not necessarily good because I'm not really doing it for yourself. I might set up a, a blank tutorial for you guys to kind of just put together for yourselves. Not a tutorial, but a, a blank scene. Not a blank scene, totally blank, but basic geometry for you guys to rig up for yourself. I'll give you the necessary components and I'll see what you can do with it. Maybe. Uh, that's not definite. I might just save that for my class. But I don't know. So anyway, you get the gist of these things. So they're exactly where all the uh, the bending joints are. So with that being said, I'm going to hide the leg geometry and look only at the bones. And now I want, because now what we're going to do is add the bones. I want to make sure the bones layer is not only visible, but we checked it here. So when we create, we will be creating on that layer. So let's work with some bones. Uh, size 8 and 8 is fine, I guess. Um, we're in the front viewport here. And that, that's going to help us for something like this. If we were in the top viewport or something, the bones might not align properly. So for legs, like if we're doing human legs, we might want to rig it from the left viewport if the human is facing forward in the front viewport. Um, I don't know if that's going to make sense, but um, oh well. So we're into the front viewport here. And what you want to do is you want to turn on your snaps. You can do it by hitting S on your keyboard. Or... You can do it by clicking this here, or you could do it by turning on the snaps down here, but you I don't think you'll have this down here. This is just kind of a setup for me to work a little bit quicker, a little bit easier, instead of having to jump into menus all the time. Um, okay, so your snaps are on, and what you want to do is you want to make sure you go into your snaps by right-clicking on it, and make sure it's set to pivot. Um, you can set it to a lot of different things, obviously. Um, clear all, pivot, make sure pivot is checked, and 
and you're in your front viewport and let's create some bones see that's a little slim right click let's say uh, I don't know 10 not too much bigger so 10 and 10 now oh, whatever to this one this one here here and here and right click to end your bones it's as simple as that now we have bones let's go back in our perspective viewport and um, we'll hide the uh, points let's look at our bones for a minute if we move them there's only one way you can do it like that and you get weird results because of the way that they are linked um, if you have trouble with your bones you can go to your bone tools here in your animation rollout and you can say uh, let's, I'm gonna turn off snaps also by clicking here or by hitting S on your keyboard you can say create bone and it'll start creating a bone on whatever uh, we're in perspective so it's not gonna look proper there create a bone so it'll create one from the end joint of whatever one you click on um, You can connect bones. That's if you're gonna do like a hand rigging a hand or a a foot to connect the toes to like the heel or ankle area or wrist or whatever. <laughs> uh, we're not gonna do any of this. I just kind of want to show you where the bone tools menu was. You can edit the bones if you didn't set your access points, your um, helpers, the uh, the point guides. If you didn't set them properly, you can use your bone edit tool to move some of these things to get them in the right position uh, you can also add fins change the dimensions wh whatever that all comes into play if you're gonna skin a character because the fins will reach out and you'll be able to uh, grab the polys easier or verts easier whatever it might be we're just gonna leave this though because we planned it so well we do not need to do any of that Planning is very important, I always tell you that, and I truly believe that. So, we're at eight minutes. What we want to do now is, let's create a new layer, layer 01, make sure it's not hidden, and it is checked by default, so that's good. We will call it I-K-C-H-A-I-N, I-K-Chains. And in order to add an inverse kinematic chain, what you want to do is you want to grab the end of, this is a limb. <coughs> so you want to grab the terminator bone, the small ending bone of the limb. You want to go to Animate IK Solvers. And um, you have your different solver types. Each one does something better than the others, uh, different purposes, whatnot. I actually might be doing a mini tutorial on the spline IK solver. There's something very cool you can do with that. So for this case, you want to choose the high solver from the terminator bone to your first bone. And this white line here, it represents the chain, and you see it running all the way through the bones. And we're at 9 minutes and about 20 seconds, so I'm going to stop it here, and we will pick up right here when I get back or when you get back, I'll still be in the same place.